Atlanta, once named Terminus before the Civil War because of its rail line built to connect the American Midwest to the Deep South. Modern times brought the beginning of the civil rights movement in the 1960s, led by Martin Luther King Jr. The city continues to be a hub for justice and social change, and the 2020 presidential election has a lot to do with the sentiment on the streets. As a black woman um, of the, you know, Black Lives Matter, I have a black son. Um, it's very important for me to just get out there and just, oh my gosh, yeah, I, I can't even phantom us not being able to get somebody else in this White House that's going to just stand for what we just hope. There are more than 6 million people in the Atlanta metro area. Many transferred here from overseas working at big companies, others from across the United States. Now, this changing demographic and population shift has created a heated campaign between Trump and Biden, and the polls showing that it's a razor tight situation as we head into the election. Who do you think is going to do a better job uh, if elected? I think Trump will. And why is that? I think he is less beholden to um, existing establishment government, people that are already in place. And I think that he's, he seems to be a lot more for the people, whereas Joe Biden wants bigger government. An hour drive south of Atlanta, a recent Trump rally drew thousands of people as the campaign looked to generate momentum across the state. Not far away, the town of Fort Valley in Peach County. The voters have picked the eventual presidential winner in just about every election since 1992, swinging from Barack Obama to Donald Trump in the past two races. For both campaigns, the concern is voter turnout in the rural areas and how much care there actually is. Anthony Taylor served four tours in Vietnam. He's the resident handyman here and wants a change in Washington, D.C. President Trump, he's screwing up everything, done screwed up everything. And he acting like he ain't did nothing, but people out here are affected by it. With less than two weeks until the election, tensions are high across America. Here in Georgia, Voters are hoping for better days ahead, no matter their political affiliations. You know, when this election is over and, you know, whatever the verdict may be, that, you know, us as Americans, we all could come back together because we are so divided right now. It's just, I can't believe it. And, and, and I'm, I'm just hoping for the best.